Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Flood, your Balloon Twister, and this time I want to teach you how to make a root beer out of balloons. This is a really fun design, especially if you're thirsty. It uses four balloons, let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need two clear 260s for the glass, a brown 260 for the root beer, and a white 260 for the foam on the top. We're going to start with the glass, get one of your clear 260s, and inflate it two thirds of the way. Put some out, and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. We're gonna start by making a small one inch bubble. And we're gonna twist this knot into that seam. So fold it over, pinch it, pull it, and twist it. The next thing you need to do is make a soft flower petal that's big enough to fit three of your fingers into. Once again, we want it to be soft, so go ahead and give it a squeeze a couple of times. To keep the flower petal from coming undone, I usually take that and twist, push it to the center. So there we have the bottom of our cup. Give it a squeeze again, twist a small one inch bubble, and twist another flower petal that same size. To keep it from coming undone, take the balloon and feed it through the center, and out the other end. It should be big enough to be able to do that. We're gonna do another one inch bubble and repeat the last step, making another soft flower petal. and we can feed this through the center so it doesn't come undone. So, so far you should have something that looks like this. And you'll notice I'm running out of balloon. That's what the second clear balloon is for. Now get your second clear 260 and inflate it two thirds of the way. Let them out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. We're gonna take this knot here and we're gonna wrap it in to where we left off with the other clear 260. So this part here is where we're gonna wrap that knot into. So wrap it around a couple of times. And then you go ahead and tuck it into that flower petal. Now we don't need this part, so we can pop it off by popping the end and letting the air out slowly, tying a knot so it doesn't come undone on us. And now we can break it off. And now we have another 260 to work with. So we're gonna make another small one inch bubble. A little bit bigger, there we go, one inch bubble. Follow that up with a large flower petal that's soft. Same size as the previous three. There we go. And now we want to do a small one inch bubble, but this one we're going to pinch twist. So we know we're going to twist it, we're going to pinch it, pull it and twist it. Just like that. And if we arrange all the flower petals to point the same way, and you hold them like this, you can sort of see the cup already, or the glass for our root beer. But you know, nothing's holding them together, so they like to fan out like that. But if you hold it together, just ever so slightly, and you give this balloon here a squeeze, you can see roughly how big of a handle to make. The length is completely up to you. But mine's gonna be, oh, what is that, like 10 inches. So I'm gonna twist the seam right there. I'm gonna twist that into this pinch twist here on the other end. The rest of this I don't need so I can break it off. Let the out slowly, tie a knot so it doesn't come undone on me. And then I hide the knot. So, what you should have so far is something that looks like this. I know this looks really messy. Don't worry, the liquid that we put inside of it will hold it together. And now it's time for the liquid. Whichever 260 color you want to use for the liquid, feel free. I'm using brown for root beer. Inflate it halfway. Put some out. Tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. Now we want to measure how long we want to twist this. Hold it up to your cup. And you want it to be almost to the end, but not quite. So just just about a finger's width short. So for me, that's about this long. How many sections you want this long is up to you. It really depends on how big your flower petals are. For me, I think I'm gonna get away with just two flower, uh, two sections. So I'm gonna twist two sections, once again, make sure they're soft. Twist those together. Now, if you have really big flower petals for your cup, you might need to go back to here and then back down again. It's all up to you. I'm gonna twist the section off now. I'm gonna break it. Let the air out. Tie a knot so it doesn't come undone on me. And there I have my liquid. Now we gotta put this inside of our cup. To put the liquid inside of our cup, what I like to do is I open it up at the middle and then I choose a side and start feeding it through the flower petals. Since this is soft and these are soft, it should be okay. If it pops on you, you might need to make them softer next time. 
So I just feed it through a little bit. Top and bottom. Feel free to use your chest as a third arm. I know I do. Okay. So now you can see the liquid holds these rings in place and really makes it look like a cup. Now comes my favorite part, attaching the foam onto the top. Get your white 260 out. It can be any shade of white. I'm using ivory silk and inflate it halfway. Let some out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. This next part's my favorite and least favorite part of this design. Go ahead and twist a small half inch bubble and make sure you twist it really good. Go around like four or five or even 10 times. Once you have it nice and twisted, slip it in between your pinky and your ring finger. This frees up your pinching fingers to be able to pinch more. You go ahead and pinch another half inch bubble and twist it like 10 times around to make sure it doesn't come undone. If you try to speed twist this and twist only a couple of times, they'll come undone on you. Trust me, the extra twists are worth the effort. So now we've done two and we have to do 15 bubbles just like this. We have two, 13 more to go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whew, five more to go. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. So now you should have 15 bubbles. We can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 bubbles. And you can see because I twisted them a lot, they're not going to come undone on me. If you put just like two or three twists in them, they're definitely going to come undone on you. Now twist this knot here. Don't let go because it's all coming done. But twist this knot here into this seam here. Nice and tight. Go ahead and feed it through the middle. And then count up five bubbles. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And between that fifth and sixth bubble, twist it into that same knot. And then do that again. One, two, three, four, five. So this is what you should have. You should have three clusters of five bubbles. Now we can break it off, but we want some slack, so break it off low. There we go. Flip it out slowly. Go ahead and tie a knot so it doesn't come undone. And using our slack, we're gonna attach it on to our liquid. So I don't know if you noticed, but I left some slack right here on the end of the liquid. That means I can attach the foam onto the top really easy by just tying a knot, don't drop them, by tying the two uh, slacks together and by tying a knot or just by twisting it into there. Okay, you don't even need to hide it. So now that we have our foam on top, I know what you're thinking, that doesn't look very foam-esque. So what I do is I take the, the third bubble in each of the five clusters and I just tuck it in, just a little tuck, into that top ring. And remember to hide those pieces of scrap. There we go. And just by tucking those bubbles just in there, just a little bit, not too much, you can see now that looks a lot more like foam. Now I know these bubbles are just placed in there. Friction is what's holding them in place. And if they're played with a lot, they're definitely gonna come undone. But I usually don't make this for like a little kid. I usually make this for a teenager or an adult, somebody who wants a cool drink, especially one that can go with the hot dog that I taught you last week. Link for the hot dog is in the description. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. And I'll see you back here next Monday with a brand new balloon animal lesson. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons, even root beer. 